What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we are checking out Galaxy Champions TV, which is released to Steam in its 1.0 version. A while back I think we played the itch.io version of this game when it only had like one level. Well now it's a full-on game and I'm a big Smash TV fan. Big money, big prizes. I love it. One of the best games ever made. I got it for Super Nintendo and for Sega Genesis, although on Sega Genesis, Smash TV was kind of wonky. There were like certain directions you couldn't fire in because the controller only had three buttons. So you kind of had to like pick three directions and just like make it work. Or you had to hope that you had one of the weird controllers with six buttons on it. But that was like an aftermarket peripheral. So good luck with that one. Now let's go ahead and check the game on out. It's time to play. I love me some Smash TV. I unlocked hard mode last night, but I'm going to show you guys normal just so we can feel it on out and see what's going on. So we've got the first planet, Planet Terra. We will be the champion. And so they have deployed landmines. We start off with our little pistol. I would recommend that you play this game pretty exclusively with a controller. It just, it just doesn't work the way you want it to on keyboard. Like I tried... But I just, I don't know, man. I didn't like it on key. I don't think that's going to work, but I want that gun right there. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Like, I wasn't trying to get whacked or anything like that. Got a flamethrower, a little bit of death laser action right now. I still don't know what the little blue, or like, I don't know, like, what the orbs do. I think they're, like, XP. I think they make you, like, level up or something. I don't really know, though. I got to pay better attention when I see them. So we can get the dash shield, we can get a super launcher, or we can get more HP. I'm going to get the dash shield. I find that anything that mitigates damage is a really, really good idea. So what the dash shield does is if you look when we dash right now, it gives you that little puff afterwards that'll knock bullets back at the enemy and they actually deal damage. It's not that useful for like, well, it's kind of useful for the bullet spam in the in-between levels. But, oh yeah, we got little sword guys now. They're trying to stab me. That's fun. Okay. As much as I'm looking forward to a good stabbing here. There we go. I need, like, a weapon that's capable of clearing out this horde. Perfect. Let's go ahead and kill some of these little bots over here, too. We got another... Ooh, a machine gun. Nice. I like machine guns. Machine guns are good. Machine guns... Yeah, that'll make the pain go away. That'll make the existential grid fall... That... Or the existential... Gr Did I say grid? That'll make the existential dread fall away. Good lord, man. My mouth is not doing what I want it to do today. He thought he was gonna get away. He thought he was going to get away with his loot. So we've got Rage Boost. Our rate of fire goes up when we have 1 HP. We've got more power, which raises our max level capacity by 3. We've got Drone. The Drone robot's pretty helpful, so I'm going to unlock that. That's a power-up that we can pick up off the enemies that makes a little robot show up that fires a death laser for a couple of minutes. Not like a lot. He doesn't do it enough to be like, you know, level changing or whatever. But it is supplementary damage, and supplementary damage is a good thing. I want you to, yeah, not explode like that. We got, like, these little turtle enemies. Oh, I took a hit. Mm, that's no fun. Okay. Well, let's get back to death lasering then, I guess. I took another hit. Good God. There's the drone right there, so you can see what that function's like. I was hoping maybe we'd pick up a... Oh, my God. I died on the first level. This hasn't happened in a while. You do get to keep your power-ups after you use a continue. So you get three continues. The game considers that you have three quarters with you. If you're an arcade of, and there's the health that I needed like five minutes ago. Good God. I could have used that. Could have used that. Super launcher, double shotgun, force field. We want that. Like I said, you want to go out of your way to pick up anything that mitigates damage. Oof, we almost... St Apparently the landmines don't function until the level's active, so that's good. I was a little bit worried about the way that was going to go. These little turtle dudes right here, they blow up. They're like little suicide bombers. And so, like, they'll come in and they'll detonate themselves every now and again. There's a force field right there. Picked it up just in time. Uh, the force field is nice because it kills enemies that try to run up on you. And so it can actually be... How did I take damage right there? What? What did I take damage from? I didn't even see what I got hit by. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. All right. Well, let's stay moving. Oh, they came out the gate and got me. I thought I had a safe path right there. I was wrong. Let me get that drone, and then let me get that HP, and then a little bit of that extra level up. I don't know what function leveling up has in this game. Like, I don't know if it makes you hit harder or, like, what it does. I can fully heal myself. I can choose later. Uh, I'll increase the pickup range. That'll be helpful. It, it means I gotta take less risks when I go after stuff that I want, so I think that'll work out okay. We have going on here? We got a couple of sword robots running around. Oh, good. We've already picked up a drone. That's nice. That'll be helpful. 
Well, I gotta time that just right, and then I'm gonna need a force field real fast, because there are a few too many bullets flying around. There are a lot of them. I need that shotgun. There it is. Perfect. Let's clear out the crowd real fast. Oh my lord. Good god. There are so many enemies trying to murder me. And now I've got giant, like, alpha gorillas running around. Oh, no. Oh, no. That force field might be our only shot. Got the HP. We're back up. Woof. Woof. That was a close one. That was a close shave. And it only gets worse from here, everybody. It only gets worse from here. The game gets much, much harder. And by worse, I mean it gets better with more enemies to kill and stuff. Let's start off on this dude and see if... I don't remember what his attacks are. Hmm. Yeah, I remember that one vaguely. Oh, yeah. He's got the spiral thingy that he does. And then this isn't the hard part. The hard part is what he does after the spiral thingy. Because occasionally he will spam more bullets after the spiral that you just kind of got to get out of the way of. We got another machine gun right here. That'll work. I was hoping for a flamethrower, but we ain't got that lucky yet. Not really dealing a whole lot of damage to him. You got a flamethrower Oh, no. Yeah, go ahead and reflect some of those bullets back if you can. Is that the flamethrower? What is that? That's a grenade launcher? That works. Anything like longer range is fine by me. I just want to keep damage on him while he's doing whatever it is he's doing right now. There's the flamethrower. The reason I want the flamethrower is because it deals damage regardless of whether or not I'm hitting him, so his health will just keep ticking down. Another machine gun right there. Let's keep it on him. I'm going to grab that shotgun before it's too late. Although, during this phase of the fight, the shotgun is not inherently that useful, given its limited range. Didn't really want to reflect that bullet back over there either, but... Oh, yeah, he's doing this again. Keep giving it to him. You know what I like in video games? When the enemy blinks, when their damage gets higher and higher and higher. There we go. All taken care of. Like, I like it when the enemies blink red, the less health they have. It reminds me of the Nintendo days, and it makes me happy. It gives me that nice infusion of nostalgia that I need to get through the day. We can choose later. We've got a super laser, or we've got an ammo cap. I'm going to go with the ammo cap, and then from here on in, we're on the second planet. I'm going to try and upgrade each of the guns so they've all got double or triple fire because it'll make things easier as we get to, like, the last map. We are now on the bug world where everything is organic and most things seem mildly unpleasant to the human palate. Drone, you better stop. Oh, I stepped on a landmine. Weak. Definitely not right, but we got a flamethrower right now, which, if anything is to be believed from sci-fi, should be pretty useful in getting rid of these enemies. Hey, there's a plus one HP. Nice. Let's keep working them. Yep, work that jaw. Work that jaw. I gotta stay away from those gates. That's where I'm picking up a lot of damage is just on gate spawns. We got a double grenade launcher. Alright. Sounds alright to me. I'm trying to have more ammo though. Yeah, those little things are XPs and I'm definitely leveling up. I think you get like a... Maybe every time you level up at the end of the stage you get a power up or something like that. Maybe it's not just the end of the stage that gives you a power up. Oh my god, there's bubble gum everywhere. Game Y. Game Y. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, flamethrower sounds nice. Let's go ahead and, yeah, let's distribute that real fast. I got a force field now, too, so that's good. I'm going to go through there. Oh, really? I picked up the shotgun. I'm actually kind of impressed. The uh, handling range that we picked up. Ooh, there's a drone right there. I want the drone. Extra firepower that I don't have to fire myself is always good. Uh, let's go ahead and keep these guys kind of burning. I do wish you could turn off the screen shake. That's one thing about this game that's a little bit pet peevey for me, is that I do wish you could get rid of the screen shake. Do I want a double machine gun or a double shotgun? Let's go with the double machine gun. I think I like the double machine gun better. The double shotgun is great. It absolutely has its merits. But the double machine gun is super consistent, so we'll go with that. Let's get rid of those little launcher dudes right there so we don't end up with the entire map covered in bubblegum. I'm not trying to step on them. You ever have to, shit, like, you ever have to like, take bubble gum up off your shoe, man, with a stick? It's the worst. Ain't nobody want to do that. That's like the worst day ever. Just like that and dog dookie. You got to sit there with a stick and just try to get that off you. Yeah, double machine gun paying off. Took a little bit of damage by stepping on the slime. That's unfortunate. My flamethrower lit the slime on fire. I forgot that it had that interaction. 
Uh, so basically what you can do is if there's slime on the ground, you can burn it away with the flamethrower. Um, I'm going to need that health right there. And I'm going to need it pretty considerably badly, all things thought of. So there we go. We've got another HP. So we're going into the next stage. We're all right, though. We're all right. I don't know if this is going to be a full clear because I'm feeling a little, I'm feeling a little shaky on my accomplishments right now, dude. It's a good thing I picked up that force field that I didn't even see. Otherwise, we'd have, oh, we do have a problem. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that health. I'm going to have to take a big risk right there for a big reward. Otherwise, we are not going to be able to dig ourselves out of this situation. Dude, they're hiding behind the walls right there. That little overhang. You can't see them. Yeah, I figured. I, I just ran out of space, man. I just ran out of space to work with, unfortunately. I'm having trouble keeping the areas cleared. Maybe I should have upgraded my guns a little bit more aggressively. It's definitely possible. I think if I had had all level 2 guns right now, I feel like I'd be doing a lot better. I'm going to go for a super laser, an HP slot, or a movement speed. I'm going to go for the super laser. It'll increase the width of the laser pretty considerably. Like It's not a good... I don't like the laser. I think the laser is the worst gun in the game. I, I don't think that the laser is really that helpful. People can feel free to disagree, I guess. But, like, I just don't see the benefit of it. I think the level 2 laser would be better if it fired, like, a split V almost. Like, I think that would work out much, much better. Go ahead and get rid of that snot rhino over there. Took a bullet on that side, unfortunately. I'm trying to get them cleared out of these corners, but, like, at the bottom of the screen, there's, like, a little overhang where you can't see them when they're all dug in right there. And so you may loop back that way to try and protect yourself during the middle of, like, a combat situation. And unfortunately, they seem to spawn out of every gate that I'm currently moving towards. Let me get that force field. Oh, I ate that one. I saw it coming, too. I saw it coming, and I walked right into it. It was one of those things where it was too late to adapt. I'm not a big fan of the grenade launcher either. Like, the grenade launcher's okay. Like, it feels all right. We're on the second boss right now. Let's see how this whole thing goes. Second boss time. I remember this guy being the hardest boss in the game, so we'll find out. This guy, I have beaten the game. I beat it yesterday after playing it for a while. Unfortunately, I don't think that gun's going to be accessible with all the snot and slime and everything all over the place. Yeah having trouble getting near him to deal damage. I remember this guy being harder than the last boss. The next boss is the last one. And I definitely remember this one being worse. I'm going to try and keep him on fire. I can't promise anything there, though. That's pretty much my best effort. We've got some more weapons over here. It's probably a good idea to stay on that. Unfortunately, the fire damage is not being that helpful right now. I love the way the flamethrower interacts with actual the level set pieces like the slime and whatnot. That's really, really cool. Gives you kind of like a... Oh, the shield didn't work right there for some reason. I felt like the dash shield went off, but I guess that's life. I've taken a lot of damage here. The other problem is that my aim is constricted to, like, six directions. You can go up diagonal, left diagonal, down diagonal, like, it's just, it's constricted. And so, unfortunately, like, sometimes you can't get the angle you want, like, on a stationary enemy like him on the middle. But it's alright. Like, I do think that if you're going to play this game, you should definitely play it with a controller. With a mouse and keyboard, it just doesn't work the way that you want it to, trust me. Like, I was hoping with the mouse and keyboard, it would be, like, free aim. You could just aim wherever you wanted with the mouse, but unfortunately it doesn't work like that. So anyways, this game is called Galaxy Champion TV. I'm going to keep this one short. There's only one more level, so even if we had beaten that, it probably would have only been like a 16 or 17 minute episode. When you beat the game on normal, you end up getting the hard mode, which is even nastier, and I don't know if anything comes after that, because I haven't had a chance to play it yet. But either way, my name is Splattercat. This is Galaxy Champions TV. I show off indie games on the internet every single day and sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile so that you don't have to. I will see you all later. I think this game is on sale right now for like five or six bucks on Steam. And if you like this kind of arcadey gameplay, you can play it with a friend or whatever. I think you'll probably enjoy it, especially if you were like a Smash TV or like a Mercs or like a Cabal fan. Anyways, I'll see you all later. Hi to everybody.